Okay, one really quick thing I want to mention are the new coding exercises in this course. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a couple of them. They're interactive, built into Udemy, uh, and they're all brand new. There's a bunch of them. And there's a couple things I want to highlight. First of all, uh, I'm recording this video before any of the coding exercises have gone live, but I, I know for sure there are going to be some small bugs or kinks that need to be worked out because, you know, it's a lot of code I have to write to actually test your code and to give you feedback. So please be patient if you're watching this video. Um, it's still very early days of the coding exercises. Second, um, the editor here, the, the actual interface for the coding exercises can get a little bit cluttered when I have my instructions up top. Um, and you know, you can resize some of this, but I also recommend going full screen. Um, when some of the JavaScript stuff is really quick, like, you know, 10 seconds worth of an exercise. Some of the others are a bit longer. Uh, some of them have multiple files and, uh, you know, sometimes I'll call certain things out and say, please, you know, don't touch this line or, or put your code here. Don't put your code here. Just try and, you know, respect those instructions. Um, also, uh, you may need to scroll down at times to actually see the entire, uh, set of instructions. Just as an example, let's see this one here. Uh, okay, this is one here where depending on your screen size, you know, this could be hidden. So just make sure you scroll down to look at all the instructions to have a, you know, as un understanding of what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, and then some of them are really short, like this is a JavaScript one. Uh, and I just am trying to be very clear, you know, don't touch any of this. Your job is to touch this and do something to make this code work. Now, of course, we haven't covered any of this content, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So I don't expect you to understand exactly what it is at this point. All I'm saying is, you know, try and respect those uh, pieces of the exercise. If you do end up deleting some of the code that you weren't supposed to touch, or, you know, if you screw something up, like, uh, I don't know, your cat walks across the keyboard. Okay, uh, this code, you can actually see it's updating live over here. Uh, if at any point you need to reset, you can click reset your code and it goes back to what it was before. And then also the feedback that you get, let me just show you, uh, you know, how it works. If you ever want to check your solution, I'm asking you to make this text look like this using CSS. Uh, it says, you know, it should be styled in all caps. Um, so, you know, I could quickly update that. Again, we haven't learned any of this, but I can do something like text transform uppercase, and you can see it updates live. It's now all uppercase. And then I should get different feedback. It says it should be centered. So, you know, I can then go do that. So um, if that's kind of the workflow, I imagine, or you can just do all of the work up front and then check your work here. But the feedback is, is supposed to be somewhat uh, helpful. Sometimes you'll see some things that are a bit confusing, but uh, buried in there, there should always be some feedback that I've written. Some of this is automatically generated by Udemy and the testing tools like this down here. Uh, it may not make a lot of sense to you, but this here hopefully explains what I'm expecting. Okay, so there's a lot of these exercises uh, that are sprinkled throughout the course, especially with the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript stuff. The first couple are coming up uh, early on in the HTML sections. Uh, hopefully they're a nice addition and good luck.